Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a custom Mel window to allow you to reset your control curves for your rigs, whether it's for an, uh, animation purposes, so when you're animating you can reset a certain curve uh, at any given time really easily instead of having to go through the channel box, um, or just when you're troubleshooting and creating curves uh, while you're rigging when you have to constrain and parent and you want to try them out you can just reset really easily. Uh, for the moment this won't be very hard to reset because there's only two there's only two uh, control curves, this is just an arm, so here's the wrist and the and the shoulder. Uh, so if I just move them around, obviously whenever I want to reset I can go here into the channel box and just I reset everything to zero. Uh, but obviously in a bigger rig you've got a lot of control curves all over the place and you might want to have uh, buttons with names and you can just reset the control curves really easily um, um, uh, through, through the mail window. So Let's get this started. I'm just going to open the script editor. Let's um, clear all this. And I'm going to start off by writing down um, uh, in comments what, what this is. So this is going to be a window to reset control curves. So uh, it, it's going to start off by a global procedure or global procedures because we've got to, we're going to have one for the shoulder and one for the wrist. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna start off with the, the shoulder global procedure. So the command for the global procedure is gonna be global pro um, and we're gonna have to name it so we can call it shoulder curve reset and uh, so that just explains what, what it is so it's easy when you go through it. Um, uh, what exactly this does. Um, so the global procedure, we're going to have to open it up with a, uh, a curly bracket and uh, what do we want to do in the global procedure? We want to uh, do what we would do if we did it manually. So that's me the select of the shoulder. So I'm going to use the select command and just take the name of this of this shoulder control curve and um, and then we're going to have to, after selecting it, what we would do would reset the the control, the channel box. So we're going to have to set the attribute. So we're going to use set attribute command. And what do we want to reset? We want to reset the, so we've already got this pasted in, that, but we want to reset the rotate x of that control curve. Um, so we can do is just copy this down. Um, sorry. We can copy this down and just uh, change it to uh, Y and Z. So that, that's about it. That's the global procedure for the uh, shoulder. So all we're doing is selecting and then setting the attributes for the rotates, um, for the rotate axes. So if we continue down, we need to create a global procedure for the, the wrist. So let's name this um, wrist curve reset and we're going to start off again with the open curly bracket and what do we want to do we want to select the uh, let's just get the name again so it's always good to copy and paste so you don't get a the the names wrong because this command would not work with a different name <laughs> um, so let's uh, set the attributes again so we can paste in the name and this time we're going to have a lot more or a lot more we're going to have the translate in that, so translate uh, x, so that's what we want to reset, and we can just copy this down um, three, three times, so we can just have the x, y, and z, the translate, and then we can copy this down again um, and change this x to the rotation, because uh, for the wrist we're going to have the translate, for the shoulder there's not going to be any, any translate. Uh, because that's going to be controlled by the main chest control curve. So that's uh, that's that's that for the for the uh, global procedures. So we've selected in each one the control curve and then reset the rotation. So that, so that's but basically that's what you want to be doing. That's what you would do if you're doing it manually. Now what we want to do is put those global procedures into a window under buttons. So you can click on a button and it activates this global procedure on it activates this global procedure and um, just to make it a lot easier and um, so what do we want we don't we want to make a window so the window is going to start with a string and we're going to have to name our thing so we can call that control curve reset so cc reset 
and it's equal to um, what, what do we want it to do? We want it to make a window. We want this string to make a window and have a title of just to make it uh, easy to. So reset control. Yeah, let's just re reset control first. Makes it makes it easy to read. So then we want to have a layout for this window. So the layout is going to be the layout is going to be. So let me just bring this up so you can the window. Here we go. So the layout uh, we want to have like a row column layout and the number of columns uh, set to two. Um, well, uh, mind you, actually, it won't make much of a difference just for these two here. If you had four, so the two shoulders and the two wrists, this would be a better setup because you'd have uh, the row uh, column going down by twos. Uh, in this case, it, it will make the same thing whether you have a row layout or a row column layout because there's only two. We're only making two buttons. Um, so that's just a reminder for if you make a, if you're going to make it for a full rig, uh, you might want to set up a, a good number of rows and a good number of columns to set up everything equally on both sides. Um, so the th first thing we want to do is reset the the shoulder, the shoulder in this case. So uh, what what do we want to make first? We want to make a button, and that button we're going to make it square, so width of 100 and uh, a height of 100. Obviously, you can experiment with this. You can have something smaller. You can use it or a lot bigger, uh, depending on what the purpose is or how much you got inside. But I think 100 is good for this. Um, so we're going to label it shoulders, and the command is going to be um, the global procedure. So we need to go back up, get our, our global procedure shoulder um, command, and uh, paste that in. So that's the global procedure, and we're going to add an annotation. Uh, just so we can see what it when once we click on it, see what it's done, um, and it will just say uh, shoulders reset. So you can see that that's what's happened uh, with that procedure. So um, the next one we want to do is reset the um, reset the wrist, and we're going to have a a button again. Actually, I got to copy this. Um, so it's going to be the same size, this time it's going to be next to it, so it'll have a label of wrist. And the command is going to be the command we have, yeah, the global procedure command, which is the wrist curve reset. Um, so the same, same, really the same thing we just did for the reset soldier, and, uh, shoulder, sorry. And uh, we're going to call this wrist reset. Uh, well, more like the annotation, so the annotation is going to be wrist reset, and that's going to come up underneath. And uh, that's that's about it. So this is this is really our our setup for for the procedure. We've got um, our global procedure, then what's contained inside of it, um, and this one here for the wrist as well. We create our window, put a layout, and we insert the global procedures in each button, and then the last part obviously is to create the window. So. This part is going to create window and a uh, very easy command to show window and then we just need to insert the name of our window which is the control curve reset um, and and that's about it so if we try this out so we can uh, command A to select and control enter so here we got our two buttons the shoulders and the wrists um, so if we just move the wrist around uh, and up, um, we can click on this button. It's gonna. Oh, it's only selected it. It hasn't reset it. So we did a bit of troubleshooting. Um, why hasn't it? Reset. So actually, we haven't put. <laughs> this out a crucial part of the. If we, we have to put what we want the translate and um, rotates to be, so we want them to be a value of of zero. Um, we don't want just to set the attribute. Uh, and we need to tell it what we're going to set it to. So obviously there wasn't any errors or anything uh, inside. It just kept it as it, as it was and just read it. Um, so we can we can display this. We can uh, run this again. Um, so we've already got it in. Um, so we doubt I clicked on the wrist and this comes back down uh, very very easily. Um, so I can really just, I mean, really, well, 
get, get this all twisted so when we're doing our troubleshooting and, and you can get it straight back to its original position with that button there. And the same for the, the shoulder rig. So uh, what you can twist and turn this, you're going to be moving your character and then you want to reset it. You click on this shoulder button and it's uh, right back to its original position. You can see that it zero outs up here on both ones, um, just zeroing out everything that's up here. Um, so that, that's a really quick, um, a, a, really, a really good tip for uh, just, just resetting uh, a reset tool. So obviously you can use this in different purposes. It's not only for control curves, um, but um, I, fi I find it really handy when I'm doing the uh, rigs uh, for, for um, animation so I can reset uh, really easily and a certain part of the body. So obviously here you could have shoulders, um, left shoulder, right shoulder on this side, and then you can sort of have a, the body built in, in buttons and you can reset at certain parts whenever you want. And I find that very handy, but obviously you can imagine what else you could use this for, what other things you could reset or other commands you could launch. So this is really just, it could be a tutorial just on, on showing you how, how to set up global procedures um, and put them behind buttons. And then you can really take anything you want uh, in Maya and set it up as a global procedure and set it up as a button and even a whole sequence of commands that you need to repeat. Um, so it's really, it's really great to, to do this. It saves, it saves a lot of time. Um, so I hope this was helpful and have fun animating.